Getting started in the stock market as a college student is actually a brilliant idea. In fact, you're at an ideal time to begin. These are probably some of the best years to start compounding your wealth. Helps to sidestep a future filled with too much ramen and not enough retirement fund. Understanding your financial health. First things first, let's be real about your financial health. Are you lugging around a Sisyphus-grade boulder of student loans? If so, you might want to weigh the benefits of investing in the stock market against the interest piling up on your debts. Sometimes paying those down first is the smartest investment. Educating yourself. Now, assuming you've got a bit of cash flow and you're ready to put some money into the market, educate yourself. You don't need to bury your head in books for months, but getting a grip on the basics is key. There's a ton of podcasts and free resources online. In my Portland, Oregon coffee shops, you'll see plenty of students buried in their laptops. Hopefully some of them are learning about P.E. ratios and not just poking around on social media. Risk Tolerance Risk tolerance is your financial shock absorber. Can you handle watching your investment drop 40% without panicky selling? Remember, higher potential rewards generally come with higher risks. As a student, you might have a longer time horizon, which could give you a bit more leeway to take risks but only invest what you can afford to lose without it affecting your next term's textbook budget. Opening a brokerage account. To actually start buying stocks, you need a brokerage account. There are plenty of options that cater to beginners, with user-friendly interfaces and no account minimums or fees. Robinhood and Webull are a couple of the upstart platforms that have been very popular with younger investors, but there's always the stalwarts like Fidelity and Schwab. Practicing with simulations. Practicing first can save you a lot of real-world heartache. There are stock market simulators that let you invest with fake money. Use these to get a feel for the market's ebb and flow without the risk. You wouldn't jump into the Willamette River without knowing how to swim, right? Starting small and diversifying. Once you're ready to dive in for real, start small. Think about investing in a diversified mix of stocks, or consider index funds or ETFs. They spread your investment across many stocks, which helps reduce risk. It's the difference between betting on one Trailblazers game versus taking the season average. Automating your investing. Consider setting up automatic transfers to your investment account. Even a small, regular investment can grow significantly given enough time. It's like planting your own financial forest. Before you know it, those small seedlings are sequoia-sized towers in your portfolio. Stay informed, stay cool. Keep yourself up to date with what's happening in the markets, but don't get too caught up in the daily hype. Stock market investing is a long game. The market will have its roller coaster days, but your steadfast strategy shouldn't be about the ups and downs of a single ride. So, there you have it. Be smart. Start with a strong foundation. And remember that time in the market generally trumps timing the market. Your future retired self will thank you, perhaps with a nice condo view of Mount Hood.